Ms. White, Mr. Anderson is your former boyfriend, and you have one child together who is how old? Eight. You and Mr. Anderson lived together? For a short time, yes. When did you live together? 2009 till 2013. Or 2014, excuse me. And from 2009 to 2014, were you employed? Yes. What were you doing? I was a fuel tax administrator. Outside of the home? Yes. I worked for a And what did you do, Mr. Anderson? I was a sanitational engineer. And from 2009 to 2018, we had two employed people. You had a child who was in daycare, I assume. Somebody was taking care of him, and you were running your household. Yes. 2014, the two of you separated. This is what the case is about. It is your claim, Ms. White, that Mr. Anderson took out a loan, which you took out for him, for bills, and you put up as collateral a CD that you had, and he paid it for a while and then stopped. So you want the balance of that loan paid, and in addition, you want certain child care expenses after 2014. Mr. Anderson says it's ridiculous he doesn't owe any money. That loan was taken out. Joint bills were paid out of that money. And he pays child support. And if you need money for expenses that are not ordered by the court, that's not his responsibility. Okay, so I would like the month and year that this loan was taken out. May 2013. While you were still together. Correct. It was taken out in his name alone. It was taken out in his name alone? Then why are you involved with it? Because he borrowed against my CD. With your permission? With my permission, yes. That's how I want to know, Mr. Anderson. When this loan was taken out, what was the money used for? It was used to use to pay Look off at me. a previous loan that I had with Miss White. Tell I... me, put your hand down. Tell me about that loan. I had taken out a loan with Miss White in previous, what year? I want to say it was in 2006 or seven. Before you lived together? Yes. There was the payoff, there was over a $2,000. Put your hand down. There was over a $2,000 on the previous loan balance that I had. You weren't living together at that time? No. So that loan was strictly your loan? Yes. And there was a $2,000 balance on that? Yes. And the loan that you took out against Miss White's CD was for $10,000? Yes. So $2,000 of that is clearly your responsibility, if you took out and paid off your loan that was taken out before you were living together as a family, yes. I believe that that's your responsibility. So now we're down $8,000. Yes. What did you do with the other $8,000? I, I helped pay bills. Like what? Did you have a car? I did at the time, which was going out, so I purchased another car. Just a second. Yes. You purchased another car for you? For family, so I could get back and forth to work. Okay, but yes, just it a was second. For me. Do you still have that car? Yes, I do. It's in your name. The title is in both of our names. Interesting. How are you going to handle that, Miss White? I don't have the car. It's his car. He purchased it. The reason the title well, is in but both you names. Have a, but you have a problem, Miss White, and your problem is this. If you're no longer together and he's driving around in a car and your name is on the title... He's not driving it. Who is driving Nobody. it? Nobody. It's unregistered, uninsured, has been. You, He's I had mean, the you car. Have a, you have a great answer, but where is the car? I have the car in storage. Why? Because with the winters in New England, it's a sports car. I will not put it on the road. It is almost an antique, and I can't get it registered without Mrs. White's signature on the insurance so that I can actually put it on the road. That's why I have, How like... How much the, did you pay for the car? $3,900. So out of the $10,000, $2,000 was yours from a previous loan that was mm -hmm. exclusively yours. Yes. For $4,000, you bought a car. Yes. So that's so far, that's $4,000 left.